again. I am here today to talk to you about Dr. Bronner's magic show, so, um, not magic show, um, 18 in 1 use, um, pure Castile soap. Um, I'm going to talk to you about how I used it, um, for my hair and, um, how it worked for my hair and things like that, my review of it. So, um, Dr. Bronner's can actually be used all around your house. You can um, dilute the soap and use it as um, a household cleaner, clean your floors, clean your counters, clean your bathroom, um, things like that. You can use it as a body wash as well, but I used it as a um, shampoo, um, Not, and I would use a conditioner afterwards. Obviously. Um, so it has no detergents in it, or like sulfates, which is great. Um, it's made um, with just like water and all natural um, all natural organic oils, such as like uh, hemp, um, coconut, jojoba, and this one has um, tea tree extract in it as well. Um, I got the hemp tea tree version. Um, I have a dry scalp. Even though um, my roots can get oily, I have an itchy scalp. So um, tea tree oil can help with that. Um, it's really good for dandruff. And um, dry skin just runs in my family. So, but yeah, so I used it in my hair. Um, but let me tell you about um, how much it was. This whole bottle it was around like eight twenty nine. I want to say I bought it at a all natural food store. Um, but then I saw it like um, like a month later at uh, the regular grocery store for about seven dollars. But that's fine. You know, um, I like the all-natural food stores, um, and I like giving them business. Um, they do have a lot of good items that you can't find most places, uh, such as that charcoal that I did buy that at the vitamin store. Oh well. Um, so, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So I used it in my hair. Um, so a lot comes in this bottle. Um, I'm going to be an idiot and not be able to find the size of this bottle, so I'm not even going to bother. Um, so you can um, dilute it with water. They recommend that. Um, I tried it. I still had to use some from the bottle, so um, the diluting did not work well for me. Um, I would either put it in my hand or um, just like get it all over my head. And if you get it like wet, and it, you just lather it because it will form a lather and it will spread a bit. That's why it's good to just get it like all around. So because if you just put it in one area, it's pretty much just gonna lather there. It's not quite as like viscous and slidey as um, regular shampoo. So, um, so yeah, um, so you get a good lather, and then, um, you rinse it out, obviously, and then I use the conditioner afterwards, um, just because my hair is so dry, um, and, you know, I'm not, like, a crazy fan about this. I'm really upset because I read a bunch of good reviews about it, and just show it some more. Um, and it didn't work as well for me as I had hoped. Um, it kind of left my hair like a little bit grimy and kind of dry. And even with the conditioner, it just like it wasn't a good combination. Um, so I thought for a while like my conditioner just kind of sucked. And um, it's actually not a bad conditioner. Um, but today I didn't wash my hair with it. I actually um, I was going the wrong way. I had some leftover Tresemme, which does have sulfates in it, and um, I don't like to use the sulfates, but it's all I had. I'm out of my baby shampoo. Um, so I mixed that with some baking soda to help get the grimy buildup out, and the hair actually feels like awesome today. It hasn't been this like nice in a while, and I miss having, and I, like, I had just dyed my hair black too when I started using this, and I use semi-permanent natural instincts. Um, I like them because the black will eventually wash out, and um, it's not too harsh on your hair. And I thought it was the dye that was doing it, but my hair feels awesome today, and I really think it's this. Um, so, yeah. So I switched back to my trust my or my leftover shampoo today with the baking soda. My hair feels awesome. Put conditioner in it. It's great. I use um, an organic um, shea butter curl cream afterwards. My hair is naturally like this. I pretty much just run it through it and then it just dries like this. So I don't 
diffuse with a blow dryer. I rarely use a blow dryer. It's just when I want to straighten my hair, which it's, it takes too long anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little upset. Um, but the good thing is, is that if you do use it and you like it, I mean, make your own assessments for yourself. But here are some just, like, helpful reviews, because I know everyone looks for them. I do. That's why I feel like there should be more out there. Um, I have this, I've had it for, like, over a month now. It's been a while. Um, I mean, maybe I bought it in early May or late April. I don't really remember. Um, but I've used it a bunch of times. I mean, like, I don't wash my hair as much. I wash it, like, twice a week. Um, but, you know, like, I barely use, like, any. And it's awesome in that sense because, like, when you buy all natural, um, shampoos and conditioners, they are expensive. Um, but, um, I didn't use it as a body wash either. I think I did once when I, like, was out of body wash. Um, because I'm that person that just forgets, and even when I go to the store, I forget to pick up more. But it leaves, like, this grime, like, it would leave a grime on my face after I would, um, wash it and it would rinse out, so I'd have to wash my face again at the end of my shower. Um, <coughs> so, I mean, you can buy it, make your own decisions. I'm probably going to switch back to my, um, Disney Baby, um, all-natural shampoo, um, at Walmart, Disney Baby. Um, Disney has a line of baby products. They have bedding, they have clothing. Um, my sister's pregnant, I don't have any kids, but, um, yeah. Disney Baby makes a great all-natural shampoo. It's got, like, a picture of a little baby Mickey on it. It's cute. Um, and it's got, like, no sulfates. It has, like, few ingredients in it. And compared to, like, Johnson & Johnson's baby, um, all-natural shampoo I was using, this one is just, like, amazing. Um, and I wish, um, they would sell it at more stores, except they just sell it at Walmart, which is fine. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I'll probably switch back to that, um, just because it just leaves a nicer feeling in my hair. And I know probably my hair's bigger because of, like, it being less dry, but I like my big hair. So whatever. I'm still on a search for, um, a good shampoo. <laughs> Excuse me, I keep burping. That'll, um, make my hair softer. I know conditioner helps with that. I have a ton of conditioners I use. But, um, so if anyone has any suggestions, please, uh, feel free to, um, leave comments about them. Um, I'm not going to spend $20 uh, dollars on Bumble and Bumble, so don't even bother with that one. Um, but yeah, so, that's my review. It didn't work as well as I'd hoped kind of a bummer, but, um, I have some hippie friends I could probably pawn this off on, so. But, yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.